Today, we're setting up the HiDream E11 model for image editing using Comfy UI and RunPod. This model lets you take any existing image and transform it using simple text prompts. You can swap out backgrounds, add explosions, turn characters into anime, whatever your project needs. Of course, there are many more professional use cases. And best of all, it's fully licensed for commercial use, so you can confidently use your edited images in client projects, products, or any commercial applications. So let's dive in and get started. To run the High Dream E11 image editing model smoothly, you'll need a GPU with at least 24 GB of VRAM. Lower spec GPUs may cause slowdowns or runtime errors. That's why we recommend using RunPod, which offers cost-effective access to high-end GPUs perfect for this workload. Use the link in the description if you're a new user, load your first $10, and you'll get a random bonus between $5 and $500 in credits. Don't miss it, it's basically free editing time. Now that we've added some credits, we can create a pod. Navigate to the left menu, click on Pods, under Environment, select Secure Cloud. This enables persistent storage, which is essential when combined with a network volume. I've already set up a volume called Comfy UI Storage, but if you don't have one yet, click Add Network Volume. Choose a region with high performance GPU availability. For example, EU underscore R01, which provides top tier GPUs like the RTX 4090, 5090, and AO100. Then name your network volume. We'll use ComfyUI Network Volume as an example. Allocate at least 100 GB of storage for your models and files and click Create Network Volume. This volume stores all the model files we'll download soon and makes redeploying much faster since you won't need to re-download everything. Now select a GPU with at least 24 GB of VRAM like the RTX 4090 and scroll down and choose the Next Diffusion ComfyUI template. If you don't see it listed, click Change Template, search for Next Diffusion Comfy UI and select it from the results. Finally, scroll down and click Deploy On Demand to launch your pod. Once your pod is running, you'll be redirected to the pods page where you'll see your deployed pod using the Next Diffusion Comfy UI template. Click on the settings icon to open your pod's configuration panel. Here, you'll notice that it's running on Secure Cloud. This is essential for compatibility with the network volume we set up earlier. You'll also see that the template is already downloading the necessary files for the Comfy UI setup. Up. If this is your first time deploying a pod with a network volume, please be patient. The Comfy UI template needs to be downloaded and mounted onto your volume. Click on Logs, scroll down, and wait while the setup completes. Once everything is downloaded successfully, you'll eventually see a green check mark indicating that port 8888 is ready. At that point, we'll move on to the next step, downloading the required HiDream model files into your network volume. Click the Connect button. Then select the HTTP service on port 8888. This will open a cloud-based VS Code environment where we'll download the High Dream E11 specific model files. Open the terminal by clicking the icon in the top right corner. Then paste the command lines into the terminal and press enter to start batch downloading all the model files to your network volume. You can find these commands in the written article. The link is in the description. This process might take some time because the total download size is around 50 gigabyte. Keep in mind, this process only needs to be done once since your network volume stays connected to the pod. The next time you start your pod with this volume, the files will already be downloaded. The download includes one high dream model, four text encoders, and a VAE file. Once the download is complete, type clear in the terminal and click on enter to tidy up the screen. Now let's check if the files have downloaded correctly. Inside the Comfy UI folder, navigate to the models folder, then open the clip folder. Here you'll see the four text encoders coder files. Next, go to the diffusion underscore models folder to confirm the high dream E11 model is there. And yes, it is. Finally, check the VAE folder for the last file. There it is. Perfect. Now we'll launch Comfy UI from the workspace. In the terminal, ensure you're in the root directory called workspace. To start Comfy UI, type dot slash run underscore GPU dot SH and press enter. Wait for the script to finish loading the Comfy UI template. You'll know it's ready when the terminal shows a message indicating that port 8188 for the Comfy UI GUI is active. At this point, you have two ways to access the interface. Hold CTRL and click the link. 
or open the RunPod dashboard. Go to the pod section in the left sidebar. Find your running pod settings, click connect, and select the HTTP service on port 8188 to launch your Comfy UI pod. When Comfy UI first opens, you'll see a simple default workflow on the canvas, but we're going to replace that with the High Dream E11 workflow. To do this, start by downloading the workflow file. You'll find the link in the description or in the written article. Once you've downloaded the JSON file, head back to comfy you in your browser, simply drag and drop the file onto the canvas and the full HiDream E11 workflow will load automatically, ready for the next step. Once the workflow is loaded, you might see some nodes highlighted in red. This simply means that a few required custom nodes haven't been installed yet. To fix this, click on the Manager button in the top right corner of the Comfy UI interface. From the menu, select Install Missing Custom Nodes. You'll see a list of the packages that are needed. Go ahead and click Install next to each one, such as Comfy UI KJ Nodes and any others that appear. When the installations are done, click Restart in the bottom left corner and confirm the prompt to reboot the interface. Once Comfy UI reloads, those red nodes should now be fully active and ready to use. Now let's dive into the HiDream E11 image editing settings. This is where you'll configure everything needed to start generating high quality edited images from your own input. We'll begin with the base setup and later explore examples where both the input image and the editing prompt vary, showing how flexible and creative this model can be. First, under the Load Diffusion Model node, select the model named HiDream underscore E1 underscore 1 underscore BF 16.safetensors and set the weight D type to the following FP8 underscore E4 MSFN. Next, in the Quadruple Clip Loader node, load the four clip models included with the HiDream setup. For the VAE, make sure to select the file named AE.safetensors. Now it's time to upload your input image. Inside the Load Image group, start by selecting the image you want to edit. In this case, we'll use a product photo of a backpack. Once the image is loaded, head to the Resize Image Feev 2 node to set the correct processing parameters. Set the upscale method to Longsos. Keep proportions by selecting Resize. Make sure the crop position is set to center and confirm the image is divisible by two. Finally, set the device to CPU to ensure stability during resizing. If your image resolution is too high, typically anything over 1024 by 1024, you might run into out of memory errors. If that happens, you can always restart your pod using the same network volume, but switch to a more powerful GPU like one from the A100 series for better performance. For the prompt configuration, here's an example you can use. Do not change the backpack, but transform the scene to look like a tropical outdoor space. Add large green plants around the backpack, water droplets on its surface, and glowing sunlight filtering through the leaves. Make the lighting warm and atmospheric while keeping the backpack sharp and in clear focus. Now for the generation settings, set control underscore after underscore generate to random. Use a CFG underscore cons value around 2.3, somewhere between 2.0 and 5.0 generally works best. Set CFG underscore cons to underscore negative to 2.0. Choose Euler as the sampler. Set the scheduler to beta, use 28 steps, and keep the denoise level at 1.0. Finally, click run and watch as the HiDream E11 image editing model brings your scene to life. Keep in mind that the first render will take significantly longer as it needs to load the HiDream model. After that, subsequent renders will process faster. Even so, on a powerful GPU like the RTX 4090, the speed isn't exactly lightning fast. Of course, the processing time also depends on the size of your original image. The higher the resolution, the longer it will take. Try out the HiDream E11 image editing model for yourself. It's completely free for commercial use. If this tutorial helped you out, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button to support the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.